from Zoyuit Snomer in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. B I T C H. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. Oh, I am your host. I got our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I uh, made uh, what at the time was an offhanded remark on the air. Doesn't this sound like the apology that everybody does? I made an offhanded remark on the air the other day, and... I use, you ever see that uh, video of Sue Simmons that we have on the MySpace page? The news anchor from Channel 4 in New York. Uh, recently I made a comment on the air using a word that, uh, well, many people fly defense. <laughs> no. I made an offhanded remark on the air that I'm not apologizing for. In fact, I made an offhanded remark on the air that I think was, by the way, I, I, I'm not, trying to lord my intelligence over you here. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. You, if you say enough stupid things, eventually one of them is brilliant. I mean, I talk continuously for hours every day. And I see a lot of mundane stuff, a lot of uh, downright unfunny stuff, stupid stuff, goofy stuff. But um, somebody called up and had a question, and I answered it with an offhanded remark that I think was brilliant. And the reason I think it was brilliant is because so many people have written to me about it, thinking that I sat down and, like, worked on it for days or something, and in reality, I didn't. I was just trying to come up with a, uh, with, like, a pithy response to a phone call, but the reality is that what I said has real truth. And I know that because many of you ask me to repeat it to you, like people said emails, could you send me that? Could you tell me exactly what you said so I could show it to my wife? Can you send that to me? (laughs) Many of you did. I don't respond to emails, so there's no point in (laughs) asking questions like that. But nonetheless, I could tell from the incoming email that a lot of people saw something significant about it. So I'm going to repeat it to you. And this time, write it down because I'm not sending it to anybody. Okay. (laughs) I'm just going to tell it to you. Somebody called up and was talking about a relationship or a marriage or something, and it it, it was in trouble. And I believe it was a woman who called in, and I gave the response. The response was, I said, I've got eight words that will save your marriage. Eight words. And she said, oh, what are they? And I said, oh, here you go. These are the eight words that will save your marriage. Ready? If you didn't hear this the first time. Please pay close attention. Because the rest of the time, I'm going to be giving the usual banal commentary here. So this is like the one brilliant thing I'll say this hour. Here it is. Eight words that will save your marriage. Stay thin. Long hair. Sex anytime. Shut up. That's obviously commentary for women. (laughs) If a woman wants to save her marriage, those eight words will go a long way towards saving it. Also saving a relationship. You know, people want to buy books, self-help books. They watch that bald-headed freak, Dr. Phil, whatever. You know, it doesn't take any of that. All you have to do is follow this simple eight-word dictum. It is not complicated. Most American women are just a bunch of loudmouth bitches who never shut up. 
and they want to lesbify themselves. Nothing wrong with being a lesbian. But if you're straight, you shouldn't look like a lesbian. You should look like you're straight. Like like, like your life partner's a guy. <laughs> and that's all I'm saying. I got no problem with lesbians. I, I'm totally cool with lesbians. I think it's fine. I'm just saying if you're straight and your husband is straight, you need to look feminine. And you have to remember why guys get married. You've heard them call here a million times. I ask guys why they get married. You know how infrequently the answer is, because I love my wife, the answer is frequently, well, I uh, just wanted to be able to have sex all the time, Tom. I just wanted to be able to have sex every day. I don't want to have to be going out looking for it all the time. You know, I want to go out to clubs all the time and bars all the time. I just, you know, I just want to have somebody there all the time. You might be with one of those guys. So the eight words that will save your relationship, ladies, I, I stand by them. The eight words, again, are stay thin, long hair, sex anytime, shut up. It's that simple. Now, there was a small number of, of women that uh, wrote in who were offended by this. Mostly because any time you use the word shut up to a woman, they, they, some of them just have very short fuse. And uh, they hear that and they freak. But uh, the vast majority of people, including women who wrote in, were actually very, very positive about this. They said that it answered questions for them. And I think that, you know, we're, we are in a bumper sticker society. You know, most people don't have the time or don't take the time to read books. They don't take the time to do any research. They flounder around and they can't figure out why their lives are a mess. And, and they need very simple rules. That is why people read magazines like New York Magazine, the 10 best pizza places in New York. Because nobody really wants to take the time to taste all the pizza. Which is probably a lot more fun than reading New York Magazine. That's beside the point. The ten best dry cleaners on the Upper East Side. <laughs> a New York Magazine. Have you ever seen that magazine? It, it's just ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Ten best fish markets in town. Ho hum. But that's how people are. They, they just want everything boiled down to a list. They want everything boiled down for them. All right, ladies, I'm boiling it down. Stay thin, long hair, sex any time, shut up. If you can follow those eight words, it will go a long way towards resolving all the issues in your relationship. Do you agree or disagree? Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Like 1-800-5800-866. I got eight words for you that will give you the best shot of keeping your marriage good, okay? Long hair, uh -huh. stay slim, sex anytime, shut up. That's the eight <laughs> words that will save your marriage. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, yeah. It's the Tom Likas Show. I want 805, 800 Tom. Talking about the eight words that could save your relationship, ladies. Stay thin, long hair, sex anytime, shut up. Eight words. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. Alan on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Doing great. You know, so I was, uh, I'm was i a first-time listener. I don't listen to your program very much. But I, I heard this, and it, and it kind of shocked me. You know, what, is, uh, what is so shocking about it? I mean, the whole, okay, long hair, thin legs. Okay, so people want to stay pretty. But you, we got to take into consideration, uh, you know, the females in a relationship. Sex anytime and stop talking. I mean, this Yeah, time, otherwise, what's the incentive for a guy to get married? Well, to, to have a life partner, to be with somebody. What do you need a life partner for? Are you not capable of handling your life? 
Well, no, I, I mean, I, of course. You, I mean, it's somebody to spend time with. and, uh, and uh, and You don't have anybody to spend time with? Oh, of course. I mean, well, uh, the point the point of getting married is to is to be with somebody you can love and respect. You can be with somebody without signing a contract. Right, of course. Then when they stop uh, doing what you want them to do, you can say that you either do it or I'm out. Yeah, exactly. And you don't well, have to pay them. You don't have to give half of everything you've ever earned to them. And they don't have the right to say, uh, I'm going to just chop all my hair off and gain 60 pounds and there's nothing you can do about it, which is what most American women do when they get married. I agree, but the, but you have to understand is that it's, it's a partnership. You can't just expect somebody to drop everything about their lives uh, and become. A what, what do you mean, drop everything about their lives? The, here's what they drop about their lives: women drop their hair, they cut, cut most of it off, and they gain fifty pounds. They're not dropping anything. So I mean, I don't understand what the problem is. If a woman wants to do that, you you got to find a woman. You got to find a woman with your own interests. You can't force them. To, no, to I'm not. To no. When did I say? When idea. did I? Wait a minute. Stop right there. When did I talk about forcing anyone well, to do I, anything? I, okay, no, but like, you, you, like the whole idea is that they're supposed to follow this. this they want to force you. Marriage. That they want to force. Well, you are. Here's marriage. how screwed up the world is. You are. You. You are the one who is being forced to do something. You. No, if you. I don't want to, if I don't want to marry somebody because of how they look or how they act, that's my choice. Yeah, but once, but the point is, else, once married, once you marry them, them, once you marry, no, you don't support them. Once you marry them, if they start doing stuff like that, you're stuck. And I'm mouth, we're on the air. I'm sorry, I apologize. That was my fault. Uh, that, but it just, it seems like. Are you still there? No, I left the room. I'm sorry. Uh, it it seems it seems like. It seems like you're trying to uh, you're trying to direct people into a way that 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 sets into a male structured uh, male structured uh, marriage. What are you a pussy? Yeah, you, you, you get with the program, pal. You were raised by a single mother, probably. No, man, come on. Yeah, yeah. Where's, Where's your dad? Doing? Where's your dad? It's right here. No, he's not right there. Yes, he is. He's right here. Where's your mom? She's at home. We're out on oh, the road. I see. So your, is your dad a, is your is your dad a pussy? All right, forget it, man. You're obviously not interested in having an actual debate. Oh, uh, debate? What do you mean, actual debate? I'm talking to you, you and you're me, talking you're to me. You're a pussy on the air. Yes, I think you are a pussy. All right, then forget it, man. All right, forget it. <laughs> you're not interested in having an actual debate. It's a partnership. It, you, get, it's just a, you want to turn it into a male dominated? No, I'm not. I'm telling women how to save their relationships. Eight words to save your relationship. You know, it doesn't matter what, what's fair, what's right, and what's, what, what's feminist. It doesn't matter. What matters is what works. Here's what works. Stay thin, long hair, sex anytime, and shut up. That's what works. Laura on the Tom Like is show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. First time, long time. Thank you. I just wanted to call and tell you that I wish more women thought like you. Well, they'd certainly be better off. I absolutely 100% agree with you, especially about the part about sex anytime. And it's funny that you're talking about sex in the city earlier because one of the characters in the movie actually... You know, her, she gets married, and and her husband ends up cheating on her, and it's because she wouldn't give it up, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, go ahead and uh, be equal and be 180 pounds and cut your hair, uh, you know, and look like uh, Sinead O'Connor or whatever you want to do. That's fine, but your marriage is going to end. All this equality you're trying to extract by looking like a lesbian, it's going to end your marriage. So you either want to fix it or you don't. You either want to uh, to save it or you don't. You either want to prevent it from going away or you don't. And I just wish uh, more women would take responsibility and stop uh, pointing the finger at the men. Well, uh, well, you know that's how it works. It's all about male bashing. That's all. That's what it's all about. Can you take me out, Kobe style, Tom? I certainly can, Laura. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. 
1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Tiffany on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Do you care? Yes, I do. I wouldn't ask. Well, many do. I don't know. I'm I'm talking to you, and I'm asking you. I don't care about anybody else. Well, I'm doing great. Good. Anyhow, um, I'm just wondering why you're so sour towards women. Is it because of the I'm fact not. That you've been divorced so many times? I'm not. Or? I'm not sour towards women. I'm just pragmatic. You know, you harp on women and how they are, but if a man does something. Uh, uh, there's plenty of shows that talk about the flaws and faults and shortcomings of men. This is not one of those shows. If you want to hear a show like that, go watch The Pregnant Man on Oprah or go watch all the other male bashing shows that are on television all day long. Uh, go see Sex in the City, care, the movie, right? whatever. I mean, you're a woman bashing show, so why not let... But the point I'm making is that well, women say all kinds of things on this show. I know, and that's the, they're right. As a <laughs> no, it's not their right. No, 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 don't. No, you have a you have a First Amendment right to stand on a street corner. That you do. No one has a right to be on this show. No, no one has a right to be on this show. I will grant you some time, and if I choose to rescind it, I will take it away. That's not a right. That's a privilege. And it is for you too. No, actually, I'm. I this is my job. I'm paid to be here. You are getting the benefit of a privilege that I'm extending to you, and it's for a limited time only. Okay, so back to the topic. Of, when you no uh, longer serve my purposes, your privileges will be rescinded. You're acting like I'm a slave or something. Well, <laughs> you, no one's forcing you to be here. You, as I've said to so many exes, there's the door, darling. And I'm sure they were happy. You, to you are free to walk. Right. So I don't mean, be calling yourself a slave. So don't be calling. Don't so be bad. calling yourself a slave. Nobody forced you to call in. Why are you call? I mean, why are you, you comparing yourself? Are you comparing yourself to the uh, slaves of the 1800s? Uh, is that what you're doing? You're what a slave you now. Refers to slave. You're a slave. You you Absolutely. use the word slave. Are you a slave? Absolutely not. <laughs> I see. Now, like I was saying, why did you get married so many times if women are so horrible? I've had this conversation over and over. I don't think women are horrible. Yes, you but do. but they have to be managed and uh, the, the the rules have to be set. For men, they have to be said as well. Absolutely. Well, no, no, women are always uh, cracking the whip. And you see, I've solved the problem. I voted with my feet. Because now, in living alone, the women who I date, the women who I know, cannot tell me what to do. And, and, and on top of that, on top of that, if, if I don't like what they're doing, I have the ultimate weapon. I can stop seeing them without giving them half of my wealth. That goes both ways. No, it doesn't, because uh, no, very few women are paying out their wealth to guys uh, who want to break up with them. No, 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 no. If a girl doesn't want to see you anymore, she can show you the door just like... Well, no, 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 but the difference her. is when men get married to you, they have to give you half of everything they earn in the process. By oh, no. not by not marrying right. anybody, by not marrying anybody, now women are going to stay thin and uh, have um, long hair and give me if sex any time. money up, that's their choice. There's something called but, a prenup. Uh, uh, darling, even with a prenup, you have to give money up. You have to pay a woman a certain amount. Donald Trump paid Marla Maples a million dollars. It was in the prenup uh, because if he paid nothing, a judge would have said that it was an unconscionable agreement and he would overrule it. So even in a prenup, you have to give up a certain amount of money. The I best way, the, the best the way. How often is the woman money. the breadwinner? Usually the guy's a complete loser when the woman's a breadwinner or the woman is completely fat and fugly. And we all know Not that's the case. True. Always true. So let me just... Just say this. The, the best way to protect yourself is not a prenup. It's not to marry a woman. But if a woman wants to save her marriage, the best way is to go gulp and agree to these eight words. And if she does, it goes a long way to saving it. That's not true. It goes both ways. If you're horrible in the sack, she's definitely not going to stick you're around. I'm talking about th th my eight words say nothing about being good in the sack. You said shut up, have sex. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. What, did I, what did I say about being good in the sack? It's not one of my eight words, not not any of my eight words. It has nothing to do with whether you're good in the sack. Okay, sex anytime. Stay let's thin. Long hair. Sex anytime. Shut up. Shut up. Right. Shut up about what? Why would you want to Everything. Who's in a, a Everything. Everything. Just there? shut. Women can't shut up. If they would learn to shut up, their marriages would be better. Vice versa. Huh? If men would learn how to shut up and learn how to treat a woman, there wouldn't be a problem. What, do you mean, what does that mean, learn how to treat a woman? What does that mean? They're thing in their pants, number one. You what? Guys, like, you have to stray. 
Why well, not be single? Why are you well, single? Well, I'm in mean, believe me, darling, darling, and now you're barking up the wrong tree because I encourage men to be single. Why do we need yeah, why, why do we need to marry you? And, exactly. And That's exactly right. Why get married? You're right. I agree with you. And cheat. I why get married, period? I don't know. Why did you get married? I, I, I because I was an idiot. And I've, I, 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 by the way, I've, I've discussed that on the air a million times. Are you a new listener? How many? No, absolutely not. How, how do you know? How do you know I've been married before? How do you know? How many times have you been married? I, I, clearly, you already know. Okay, don't don't call in here. Don't call in here and pretend. Don't call in here and pretend you don't know that I've been married before. You know I've been married before. You knew it when you called in, and you are a listener. You're trying to act like you don't listen, but you do because you know my past. You know it, and that's why. And that is why you brought it up. You are an idiot, but you did it more than once. So you I did it more than once. Yes, I did, but I'm not stupid now. Well, you were stupid many times over, my Doesn't friend. matter. So Doesn't matter. Could now, now I'm Albert Einstein, and I'm telling the other guys to, to take my knowledge, what I learned from my mistakes, and to apply it to their own lives. Don't buy rent. I know a lot of very good-looking men who are very successful, who are happy with... They're idiots. They're women. They're idiots. And they're going to learn the hard way in divorce court because uh, 50% of them are going to end up having to pay half of everything they earned to that bitch. You don't know that. Oh, I think the statistics don't lie. Well, you know what? It goes both ways. It doesn't happen frequently. There, you know, darling, even, even darling, even a broken clock is right twice a day. The fact that occasionally some fat and fugly woman uh, you, you marries some good-looking slug of a guy who sits home on the couch all day long and ends up having to pay him alimony, that's the man bites dog story. Yes, it happens occasionally, but it is rare. So what? We're talking, we're broadcasting here. We're talking about millions and millions of people. And the vast majority of cases, the man is the one who has to pay half of everything he's earned to a woman who sits home on her ass and does very little. That is what generally happens. And yes, so what if there are exceptions to the rule? The, the vast majority of cases, I don't care if there are exceptions to the rule. I couldn't care less. We are broadcasting here. We cannot do a case-by-case -case radio program where we go over every... Every exactly. single marriage in alphabetical order, the vast majority of divorces involve a man paying a large sum of money to a woman. That's what generally happens, even if there are exceptions to the rule. Irrelevant. The vast majority of listeners here are men, and I'm telling the men, if you don't want to be paying money out to some woman in exchange for past use of her vagina, the best way to prevent that is to not buy just lease. No, that's not always true. Like you said, it's I didn't say it's case. always it's true. I different. said it's generally well, true. You don't know every single person in this world. I don't. I, I get. I don't know every single person in this world. Did you hear what I just said, you big mouth bitch? I just said you can't do a radio program for every person listed in the phone book. I can't go. Okay, Albert Aaron, Bill Albert. Just go through the names of everybody who got a divorce. <laughs> oh, yes, there was a guy. He was a complete slug, and his wife made $250,000 a year, and she had to pay him alimony. So what? I don't care if that ha it, That is so rare. It's a news story when it happens. Did you see the story last week about manimony? What they got manimony now? Manimony. Imagine this, women actually having to pay men. Can you believe that? It's a news story because it rarely happens. Jesus. How stupid can you be? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Monique of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yes, hi. How are you? Great. Um, I have a problem with what you were saying earlier. I think that is, like, so wrong. Maybe in general, maybe, but I don't think so. Because if, if men want it like that, us women want men with 12 inches tall and not to be bald and have money, okay? Well, fine. That's what we want. Well, guess what? Yeah, here's what? I'll tell you what. If that's what you want, uh, then why don't, why don't you just not get married? Stay single and stop trying to push men into marrying you. Oh, no, I have no problem. I, oh, I don't even want to get married. Great. Right now. I think it's fantastic because, generally speaking, it's women out there who are trying to cajole us and push us into marrying them. 
What about men trying to do the same thing? The, it, well, the, the those guys. That, that that's like that. <laughs> that's that's like Siegfried and Roy getting into the cage with the tigers again. That's the stupidest thing anybody could do. Why would any man beg a woman to marry him? Oh, trust me. Oh, oh, believe. Why me. buy the cow when you get the milk for free? For God's sake. But believe me, I have seen it. And a lot you of know, these women are cows. Take a look. Well, I, and so are men. And so are men. Fine. Fine. So are men. They may be. Well, bad. they may be, but women still beg them to get married. And my friend is 100 percent on your side, and she's female, and I don't know what her problem is. She's driving, so I'm on the passenger side right now talking. But I'm 100 percent. See, your friend agrees with me. Yes, he's God. Oh, stop it! Stop it! How many times are you going to say that? Jesus. We bleeped it the first time, and we let it go uh, without commentary. We just bleeped it. Then she said it again. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. We are talking about the eight words, ladies, that will save your relationship or save your marriage. And the eight words are stay thin, long hair, sex any time, shut up. Now, what the hell is wrong with that? Tom like it. Like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. My husband listens to your radio station. Every time he comes home after listening to your radio station, he's like in a bad mood really? all the time. Uh, he he must enjoy it. He listens all the time. Oh no, he, I, I, I don't know what it is. You're just brainwashing him somehow, and I don't mm. know that. It's the Tom like it show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. All right, uh, in case you're just tuning in, I gave women eight words that will save their marriage, save their relationship. I did that as an impromptu comment a few weeks ago, and now we're talking about it on the air. The eight words are stay thin, long hair, sex any time. Shut up. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's Rachel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, Tom. Hi, Rachel. How are you doing? Great. Long time listener. I'm a big fan of the show. Cool. Hey, uh, I just had to call in as young woman, actually in a relationship. I think it's a philosophy. All women. Watch your mouth. We're on the air. Big boobs. Excuse me. I would personally add that. I think everything else is completely correct. I know women out of country that are in relationships and they don't blabber as much or bitch as, excuse me, bitch as much as women in America. And their relationships are always perfect. Well, I, I don't know if they're always perfect, uh, but I think that uh, you certainly see a bigger percentage of satisfied individuals in marriages where people follow traditional gender roles uh, rather than these uh, newfangled relationships where the woman is the man. Definitely. Definitely. I completely agree. And these women that come on and are complaining, I, I can't for the life of me understand it. What is there to complain about? If it well, they, they are probably they are probably the kind of women I'm talking about. They're exactly. probably the ones who chopped off their hair when they got married and bulked up, and then they act like every time their husband wants to have sex with them, they're they're being raped. That's another thing. I, I don't understand women that get into these relationships or get married and get fat or get ugly. Don't you want to keep your husband happy? Thank no, you. no, Keep and you know head. why? I'm going to tell you why. Because women know they have no incentive to do that. Once they've gotten a man to sign the contract to get married, uh, <laughs> the man is going to have to pay to get out of the relationship. Exactly. So they have no incentive to look good. I, I just, I do not understand that. I women that can't wait working. to get married because they're tired of having to buy clothes all the time and makeup all the time and always look good. They can't wait for the days where they can wear sweats and cut their hair short. 
They can't wait. That's sad. I think it's ridiculous. Women should pay more attention to you, Tom. I agree. And listen carefully, not just, oh, Tom's on the air. I should take a few minutes out of my day and listen. I listen to you on the way home from work, hour to two hours a day. I it's love really, that. I, I love that you have these eight words, and women should seriously listen to that. It's just very simple. It's so simple. It's You should write books on this. <laughs> Well, eight words wouldn't fill much of a book, but there you go. Thank you for the call, Rachel. It's Rosa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Ah, Papi Chulo, ¿cómo estás? How you doing, dear? I'm doing good. You know, everything, I don't agree with everything that you say, but today you're right on cue. My husband and I have been married 15 years. It's not always been perfect, but it's very clear. The reason why some of these women get so fat is because they're lazy. They don't cook. You cook for your husband, you cook for yourself, you eat well, you take care of one another. I'm not going to stay with my husband if he gets fat and fugly. We're both going to get old. That's, that's a given. But I don't want him to get fat. I don't want him to get lazy. So why am I going to get fat and lazy? And then if he comes home and he doesn't talk to me or he's upset, I'm not going to ask him, oh, what's wrong? Are you upset? I'm just going to shut up and leave him alone. By the way, I got a word to the ladies out there who complain about their husbands getting fat. You know, you have the ultimate control. Cook meals for him. Exactly. Cook you control the ingredients. Yeah. Your husband gets fat because you don't cook for him. And so exactly. he eats lunch at a fast food place, and dinner at a fast food place, and he's out having wings and hooters and stuff. If you want your husband to stay thin, why don't you make meals for him and then control what's in them? Well, I got some great advice for all the women out here that want intimacy with their husband. You know what a man's idea of intimacy is? Good sex. They don't want to hear talk, talk, talk. If you want your man to feel intimate, have sex with him, period. Yeah, if you need to have long, windy conversations like the like the old hags and sex in the city, call your girlfriend. Oh, even with the women, real women don't want to have long, bullshit, BS conversations with anybody. You call, you make the call, hey, how's it going? Good, everybody's good. That's it. Same thing with a man. If, if, a, if a woman is smart, you're going to shut your mouth, get get the basic talk with your husband, feed him, take care of him. That's why most of our boys are turning gay, because they're afraid they're going to end up with a wife or their mother. <laughs> I don't know if most of our boys are turning gay, but I think what has happened is that lots of men are just uh, voting with their feet. They're not getting married, or they're getting married at later and later ages. And while women's biological time clocks are ticking, guys are not that anxious to sign up turning gay but becoming sissies because they see their fathers putting up with these relentless bees. Or well, worse than that. No, no. A lot of these guys, and we talk to them all the time, they saw their dad get a divorce and then they had to hear their mom for years. I don't oh. let you grow up like your father. Your father is a bastard. He's an a-hole. He's a creep. He's a deadbeat. He's a deadbeat. Yeah, yeah that's, that's terrible. Even with my daughters, if they wanted something from dad, they knew. If dad said no, it was shut up and back off. And if they went to dad and asked for, for you know, whatever it was, uh, money or, or go out to a football game or stay an hour later, if they asked their dad, dad, can I stay an extra hour and so-and-so is going to go, and they went in the right direction with the right words, 99% of the time they got a yes. But if they went in bitching, dad, I did this and I did that, you know what? He was going to turn them down. So they, my girls learned early on. They learned early on. My daughter just got married. She's 31 years old. And you know what? She knows how to take care of her man because she had 31 years of good schooling. Sounds good to me. It doesn't always uh, work. It isn't always perfect, but you can make it work. And it's so easy. You just feed a man and you take care of him in bed and just leave him alone when he needs to be left alone. He'll ask you. He'll talk to you when he wants to talk to you. Not that I'm a doormat or anything like that. I'm, I'm his partner. I know I know my man. I know what, what he likes to eat. I know that he likes to have sex. And I know that he likes to be left alone. Why am I going to nag him to, into another woman's arms, you know? Uh, you're absolutely right. What can I say? Unfortunately, a lot of women don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. Hey, Rosa, thanks for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Amy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. When will these...
bitches shut up and give you your credit when it's due. Every day they call in giving you crap because you tell men how to stay single. Finally, you tell them how to have a good relationship, and they still give you crap for it. And might I add, bringing to bring validation to your point, in Sex in the City, the one chick who cut off her hair, stopped having sex with her husband, um, wouldn't shut up and let herself go, he cheated on her. And then they were amazed. How could he do that? Exactly. So if you all would, if these chicks would just shut up and listen to what you're saying, Tom doesn't have to be wrong for all of you to be right. Stop being so defensive. Listen to what he's saying and do those eight words. It's so simple. It's so easy. And if you don't, while you're sucking down your Jack Daniels wings at Fridays, I'll be in a bikini at the rooftop deck of the standard telling your man to put two limes in my cosmopolitan. <laughs> Blow me up, Tom. Here you go, Amy. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Crystal on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. I just have a question for you. Yes. Um, I agree 100% with what you're saying. Um, I'm totally in love with my husband, and he works so hard, and I want to make him happy. Um, I just had a question. I am I'm not fat by any means, but my husband says in the bedroom he likes things behind to jiggle. Is that something he's just saying to be nice, or... Well, what came first, the chicken or the egg? I mean, uh, <laughs> did you have a big fat ass when he married you or what? No, I've actually, we've got two kids and I've actually lost weight since we've gotten married. I wear size five jeans, if that tells you anything. It sounds to me like he's trying to be a nice guy and he's trying to, you know, butter you up. It sounds like you, you've been buttered a bit already, but uh, he's trying <laughs> to butter you up. So I, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, when he says he likes my butt juicy that he's not just saying that. Well, he may just be saying that, but, uh, you know, if if, if 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 that's how he feels or if that's, put it this way, most men are not shy about this. In fact, most men dig themselves a hole by ultimately telling the truth and then getting punished for it. See, that's what I love about my husband is he's completely honest. If he doesn't like a shirt, he tells me it's. And that's why I enjoy listening to your show is because you give such a man's perspective and, you know, it's able, it enables women who listen to make the ones they love happy. And, of course, that's what I'm interested in. I don't want to be the naggy, you know, wife who... Yes. And look, if your husband's unhappy, he's going to let you know in any number of ways. So, so he, he seems completely happy, and, you know, I just wanted to make sure in the bedroom that, you know, the jiggle is something that he likes and not just something that he said. Well, you're going to know because there are symptoms. The more time your husband is spending at strip clubs or Hooters or the ESPN zone or and the less time he's spending at home, he, he's sending you a message. So if your husband's coming home every night and he's banging the crap out of you, he's probably happy. Well, we've been married for almost six years, and we're still at it at least once a day. Men so. are not, by the way, men are not, women think we're complicated. We're as simplistic as you can possibly imagine. I'm hungry, I'm horny, I'm thirsty, leave me alone. That's pretty much it. Yeah. We're not hard to please. We're not hard to understand. Women think we're like women. <laughs> no, not at all. You know, know, oh, he, last night he said he wanted sex. What do you think he meant by that? Well, I'm just, I'm interested Stop in, talking and start riding. <laughs> I'm interested in keeping it, you know, keeping him interested in me and, you know, making him happy because he's... Well, darling, if it makes you happy to go to the gym and work out and tighten it up, I'm sure he won't complain. Okay. And he won't complain. But it sounds to me like he's happy, and uh, but I don't think he'd reject you if you suddenly looked like you were in shape. Well, I am in shape. I just have a a, a big booty. Is, but is so. it naturally a big booty, or it got bigger? No, 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 no. It, it's naturally big. It was big when we met. I'm slim everywhere else, so. I see. All right. Well, good luck with that. Our email address, Tom, at blowmeuptom.com.
The Tom Likas Show.